and uh, that it's a negatively charged species, summation of this is going to be equal to the positively charged species. That is the electro neutrality conditions. And finally, you're going to have composition relations. D, the donor concentration, is the neutral donor and ionized donor summation. Should be equal to summation of these two. That is obvious. Now we have uh, four equations and uh, four unknowns, so basically it can be solved. You can have the uh, solutions. But we know uh, the extra facts that electron concentration, intrinsic electron concentration should be equal to the intrinsic uh, whole concentration. And the defect electron concentration should be equal to the ionized donor concentration. This is the fact that we know. Okay. And then electron concentration here is going to be whole concentration, and that is Ki square root of Ki. Okay. And also This is equal so that we have KD square root of this. Now, uh, you can relate this with a familiar band model. And the band model, what we are saying here is that we have a conduction band and a valence band, and we have a donor ionization energy as the EI here. And then uh, this is the band gap. So across the band gap, we have electrons and holes, intrinsic electrons and holes. And we have uh, electrons uh, from the donors in the connection band, OK? So delta GI in the QCR is now is equal to the uh, band gap of this uh, band model. And then uh, GD is ionization energy. And in this band model is equal to the ED. And the Ki is uh, equal to the effective density of state conduction band times effective density of state in the valence band, where you know the N uh, V is equal to two pi m. whole kt over h square typically at room temperature And V is, has a number of 2.5 times 10 to the 9, 19 electrons. That is a typical number.
intensity electron concentration is going to be expressed like this. And then uh, E D, D naught is D one minus the Fermi drug statistics. And then if my EF is very larger than KT. Fermi Dirac statistics can be approximated to the Boltzmann. Okay, um, that I just uh, gave you the example of the uh, QCR method, the application to the donor uh, doping in semiconductor case. Okay, we well, have been uh, made the equation for the QCR, and then uh, we try to relate that with the uh, formula band model effective denser states, and the very meteoric statistics, and so forth, okay? That is the same thing. But the uh, electrical engineers try to approach the band model, and chemical engineers try to approach the uh, quasi-chemical reaction models for the doping uh, thing, okay? We often call the doping chemistry for that. Now, uh, for the defect equilibria, okay, uh, let's say we have a Franklin defects in uh, MX crystal in equilibrium with a uh, vapor. That is, uh, let's see. Point defect equally real. Right. Example. Uh, 
uh, Frankel defects in uh, MX in equilibrium with vapor. Okay, then we're going to have a vacancy of the a cation and interstitial of the cations like this. So we have minus plus minus plus minus plus plus minus plus minus plus minus, minus. Uh, for this. We are going to have vacancies here, and this is going to place in somewhere as an inner tissue. Okay, something like this is the situation that you have. So the equations that we can set. through the uh, quasi-chemical reaction approach. Normal occupancy has the uh, energy to create the Frankel defect, right? That is a defect of formation. This reaction is related to the defect formation. And here, the formation of the defect now is equal to Mi Vm. And Mi plus some, let's say, the energy to have an ionization of this to give the electrons. That is a defect ionization. And here the K5 is going to be concentration Mi. This is just nothing but the uh, law of mass actions, equilibrium constant. And we am also have an ionization energy to create the holes. And this two uh, defect ionization, related to defect ionization. And here, the concentration and now electron electron a whole equally real. Finally, vapor defect equilibrium.
and finally charge neutrality. says n plus vm minus negatively charged species is equal to the positively charges. So we have unknown six unknowns and then six equations so that we can solve this. Uh, problem. So we have unknown now. Five, six. six unknowns, and we have uh, equations like K We have six unknowns, but we are not interested in uh, unionized species concentration, like Mi or Vm. We don't, we don't really care about that. So we have uh, four unknowns. We are interested in uh, four unknowns. Uh, basically, electron concentration and hole concentration and ionized uh, uh, defects concentration like this. The four important species that we are interested in. So we are going to use uh, these four unknowns and we are going to choose uh, just the three or uh, four equations related with this, that is KD is equal to dm dx prime, and the composition related equation kx and charge neutrality this one two three four that is the important equation they're going to use okay, to identify the four unknowns there And uh, the other equations are self-evident, except there's a composition, no equations. Let me give you 
the explanation of this uh, uh, compositional equations a little bit by giving you the example, like uh, let's suppose we have copper oxide is in equilibrium with ocean partial pressure. Okay. Then this one, <coughs> O minus Cu plus. This is the uh, Cu to O representation. Okay. And then we just to make a repetition of this plus Cu plus O Cu plus and the C U plus O C U plus and C U plus O C U plus. Now this is the structures that we have and then is uh, in equilibrium with the PO2 in such a fashion that this part we just put the O minus there then uh, this means the oxygen gas in equilibrium with the uh, copper to hole, things like this, okay? And uh, the Kx now is going to be vacuum, it's copper, That is uh, actually vacuum of copper. Vacancies of copper. We are having two vacancies here, vacancies of copper, like this, okay, with the uh, oxygen in the crystal, so that uh, it has been. Uh, the, the chemical reaction can be represented like this, okay? And then uh, the vacancies of copper should be uh, negatively charged so that uh, the law of mass action can be expressed like a PO2, yeah, like this. Oh, no. This is going to be the whole. Uh, okay. And the charge in neutrality conditions impose on this. Free and copper minus should be equal to the whole, so that now the Kx now becomes P4, PO2, square root of PO2. And the P now is equal to Kx, one quarter, PO2. One eight, and the conduct uh, since I say conductivity is related to the partial pressure of oxygen. Now, in this case, the uh, conductivity of this copper oxide is going to be uh, related to the uh, partial pressure of oxygen. The one eighth, like this. Okay. That is the uh, compositional uh, equations. Let me give you uh, another example of this and finish the, today's lecture.
Another system that uh, we have to think is the uh, aluminum oxide, alumina. And aluminum is a third. Two aluminum is going to be related to the three oxygens. Something like that. That is AL2O3, right? So ALO3 and then here let's say we have that uh, something like that. And that is an equilibrium with the oxygen such that uh, we have three oxygens, so that we have two vacancies of aluminum, vacancies of aluminum. And that is a negatively charged, three negatively charged. OK? Then we can. Uh, have a compositional equations like uh, three halves of oxygen gas now is in equilibrium with uh, two aluminum vacancies and then the six holes. And then in this case, the Kx now is going to be aluminum three negatively charged, and the partial pressure of oxygen like this. This is actually not partial pressure. This is a whole, whole concentration. OK, three halves, and the charge Neutrality, three aluminum is equal to a whole concentration. Now, the conductivity of this is going to be related to the uh, ocean partial pressure, 3 sixteenths. OK. Uh, on uh, Wednesday, we are going to apply this to the binary systems, MX binary system defect equilibria. In this diagram, we're going to make a equilibrium diagram of defect concentration, and this is the uh, log uh, Kx or F or the partial pressure related to the X2. Okay. The system, which is in equilibrium with the uh, anion gases, and then uh, with the uh, partial pressure of the anion gases, the defects inside the material is going to be changed. The concentration of major defects, electrons and holes, and uh, negatively charged defects and positively charged defects, 
those four defects is going to be changed with respect to the concentration of the environment, which is in equilibrated weather system. And uh, how those uh, four different uh, major defects will change with respect to the concentration of uh, equilibrated uh, environment is going to be discussed in the next, uh, next class, okay? So I'll see you on Wednesday then.